Handmade vertical chopper. Here is a case of FECO emulsification of moderate dense cataract with a small pupil. In this case, I'm going to show you how to make your own cheap vertical chopper. I started 2.2 clear cornea incision, injecting my drain to dilate the pupil, but unfortunately, the pupil is not dilated. Then, injecting dispersive OVD to coating the endothelium of the cornea and to dilate the pupil. You can see the pupil diameter is uh, roughly about uh, 4 millimeters. Here is the capsulorexis. You can see the edge of the capsulorexis is behind the iris. Is It is larger than the diameter of the pupil. Then empty the anterior chamber from the viscoelastic. Test the cannula before doing the hydrodissection. You can push the iris to see the edge of the rexis. You can see a complete posterior wave during the hydrodissection. This is a very important step in vertical chop to be sure that your hydrodissection is complete. And to be sure that the hydrodissection is complete, it is important to rotate the nucleus. You can see the rotation of the nucleus, then injecting again dispersive OBD. Then I open two side ports using the MVR as it's clear. Here I'm going to show you how to make the vertical chopper using 27 gauge needle and needle holder. You can do a first bend in this needle. It's about uh, 1 or uh, 1.5 or up to 2 millimeters in the length. The first bend, the second bend, it is similar to the cystatome. You can see here the uh, handmade vertical chopper with first bend it's about 1.5 millimeter in length now you can introduce your vertical chopper through the uh, paracentesis and introduce the phaco probe through the main phaco incision and do shaving the cortex and the epinucleus as it's clear then impale the phaco tip with the vertical chopper descent right in front of the phaco Tip, you can see a complete separation of the nucleus in two halves. You can repeat this is a technique for each half. You can repeat it more and more as you can see. By the end you can see the nucleus has been chopped into smaller pieces. It is similar to the by pieces. Then you can hold each smaller piece and emulsify it uh, supranuclear at the level of the pupil as it's clear here the last two pieces you can rotate to be in front of your phaco uh, tip and emulsify it you can see the cataract has been emulsified very well you can see here the uh, vertical chopper now the time for the cortical removal using the bimanual irrigation aspiration. At this time also you can twist your uh, paracentesis to keep the anterior chamber and the capsular back formed very well during the uh, cortical removal. Then injecting cohesive OVD to form the capsular back and insert and implant a single piece hydrophobic IOL which is a preloaded IOL inside the capsular bag you can do centration for this IOL and washing the OVD anterior and behind the IOL and finally stromal hydration for the paracentesis and for the main phaco incision and you can use a sponge to test the leak by the end of the surgery you can see it is a very nice technique using a cheap hand made vertical chopper thanks for watching